everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video um, is a little bit different to what I've done before. It's actually a collab with um, seven other people um, which will be linked down below to their channels. Uh, it's a cleaning one, a speed clean, uh, as I said, which I've not done before, um, but it was good fun. So my video is of my cleaning routine that I do once I've dropped the girls off at school and then I come home and usually there's what the breakfast washing up, there's the stuff where I've prepared their lunch, the stuff that they've just dumped on the side because they've emptied out their school bag and haven't taken it upstairs. So it includes all that. So it's just of my kitchen and dining area. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it and be, be sure to go and check out all the other links down below of the other people as well. Bye. So this is what the kitchen looked like before. Um, so all the junk on the table which needs putting away. Um, but I start with the washing up um, from breakfast things and where I've prepared lunch as well for everybody. Um, so I always wear my rubber gloves now. Um, I never used to, never used to get on with them, hated them, uh, but now I wear them for several reasons. So I wear them to protect my hand um, from any knives or anything to make sure I don't injure it. Um, and also for the heat as well, as I'm not allowed to get my, uh, my right hand too hot um, or damage it in any way. Um, so I wear the gloves to protect it. Uh, so I just wash up any bits that, as I say, from breakfast or where I've prepared lunch because I prepare the lunch fresh in the morning for the girls and for Craig to take to school and to work. Uh, and then clean any water bottles. The girls had football training last night, so these are the water bottles that they took with them. They only ever have water in them, they don't have juice or anything, so they don't take a lot of cleaning. And then just give the uh, peanut butter jar a quick clean because we finished that this morning, ready to go in the recycling pot. And then just run out any recycling out to the recycling box that we have in the garden. Um, and I just take them out and then I come back and just do a general tidy up so any bits that don't belong there uh, so as I say when the girls leave for school they tend to just empty out their school bags and just leave it all on the table so I just run that all upstairs and any bits um, that I've left there so the girls were doing some homework last night so the glue gun's still out and things so I just run that up and pop that away. All whilst being watched by the cats. <laughs> Very nosy, they like to know what's going on. Um, because our back door comes into the, the kitchen and we tend to use the back door more than the front, uh, the, everyone seems to dump their shoes around the table so I just pop them away in the cupboard under the stairs which they are supposed to be put away there when they take them off but it never happens So then I just tidy up the other side of the kitchen. This box here is just where I is where I sort of put all our junk. So any post, any little letters the school girls get from school all go in there. And then get my multi-surface cleaner and just give the top a quick spray over, including the hob as well. 
um, and then I give that a wipe down again putting the gloves on and using one of these micro something or other cloths I can't remember what they're called um, and I know they've been around for ages but I've only just discovered them and I just picked up I think a pack of four from the pound shop and I think they're great wish I'd discovered them sooner I give the smoothie maker a quick wipe over as well because we always we have a smoothie every morning so it usually gets drips a bit so just give it a quick wipe over making sure I get all the crumbs from sandwiches that I've made And then I just wipe over the hob, wipe over the back. So just removing anything that might have been spilt on there um, from breakfast, if, from the porridge. And then I give it a quick dry over with the um, kitchen roll. Then I get the hoover out, so that's our, my utility room, just where I, in that door there, um, and I just go round and hoover the kitchen and dining area. So this is just a quick whiz round. So this is my new Dyson cordless hoover which I absolutely love and would highly highly recommend um, again I'm not allowed to use my right arm too much lift heavy things do anything repetitive um, so we've got one of these hoovers because it's light because it's easy um, I can take it up and down the stairs easily um, so I, and I, am, I can use it with my left hand easily as well which is still a bit of a struggle because being right handed but I'm getting used to it a bit more now so just go all the way around the kitchen um, and the dining area and go around and under the table as well. And then as you can see I have my Easter tree on the table um, which the kids the kids, not the kids, the cats seem to think it's a toy for them um, and they've been up and they've knocked the bits off so I pick them up off the floor. Um, they, they like the bits that dangle off and then chase it around the kitchen so I have spent quite a lot of time picking them bits back up again. I just put the hoover back in there, that's where we I keep it in there because I can keep it plugged in, keep it charged. So I just get the um, other bits to go on the hoover and just hoover around um, the edges and around where the cat food is kept as well. Gloves back on. <laughs> and then I just give the where the cats get fed I give that a quick clean because for some reason they can't keep their food in the bowl and seem to drop it all over the place so um, I just give the skirting board a quick clean and the mat where they the food goes on you just use an antibacterial spray for that and as you can see the cats are quite interested in what I'm doing because uh, they want their food that's Charlie the black and white cat <laughs> 
and then just take the food bowl, I go and give it a quick wash and then give them their some more food. They have already had food this morning but give them a little bit more throughout the day. And then I move onto the table and give that a wipe down. Again, removing any breakfast spills that the girls might have done from their eating their porridge. And I just use the multi-surface cleaner again on, on the table as well. And then because I'm not going out today, I decide just to light a candle and uh, leave that there for the day. And then I just uh, dry up the stuff that I'd washed up earlier and pop that away. I like to wash up and then leave it for a bit and do something else and then come back and do the drying up because then most of it's already sort of drip dried so I only have to give it a quick wipe over and then it saves time then. I'll just leave the drinks bottles there to drip dry because they're quite difficult to dry up with a, uh, a tea towel. Just give the, the sink a quick wipe round and the tap and the draining board. And I'd put some washing on before I took the girls to school, so that's now finished. So I empty the washing machine and take the clothes up on the landing to hang up. So I just take off the few little bits that were already on the clothes holes, fold them up and then put the clean washing on the clothes holes. So it's either I put it on the clothes holes or if the weather's nice, I can hang it out on the line, but today wasn't. And I find hanging washing up quite, I don't know if I'm a bit sad, but I find it quite therapeutic, quite relaxing. Better on the line than on the clothes horse, but I quite, I quite enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, I need to get out more. <laughs> Sometimes I hang some things in the airing cupboard as well because that dries it a bit quicker. And then that's the kitchen all clean and all done and all tidy. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, as I say, this is as I said at the beginning, this is a collab with some other ladies. Um, so check their links out down below. Um, and if you haven't already, then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all soon. Bye.